set in Vine, a fitting spot to check out six unsigned bands seeking fame and fortune on the MTV basement tapes. Practice, practice, practice. Finding a manager who can find his cut to 10%. Riding home in a van at 4 a.m. and giving each other the flu. Working a day job to scrape up the bucks for a good amplifier. Hey, if they survived all those games, how can they leave their video in the basement? That's why MTV created the Basement Tapes. To give new bands a chance at a major recording contract. The best equipment available. And maybe even stardom. And you vote them in. This opportunity is knocking right now on the MTV Basement Tapes. I'm Martha Quinn, and you're watching the MTV Basement Tapes, the show that makes you the talent scout. Now, each month, by now you know how it works, we show you six unsigned bands from around the country. You watch the videos, and then you vote for your favorite by calling a special 900 number that we'll show you later on tonight. Tonight's winner gets a complete line of Casio instruments to outfit the whole band, including the Casio CZ-101 synthesizer and the CK-200 keyboard. And, of course, they come back on February 9th to compete against our other five finalists for the grand prize, an epic records contract, and a new video. Now, at the top of the show, I mentioned that we're in the Los Angeles area, so that means that we could have gone to the Hollywood Bowl, or to Disneyland, or to Man's Chinese Theater, but instead, we chose to visit the basement of a guy who brought Billy the Mountain from being merely a geological phenomenon to a rock and roll hero. I am talking about our co-host for the night, Frank. Zappa. That's right, Martha. It was mostly rock in the case of Billy. <laughs> Thank you for having us in the basement. And since uh, since you're here tonight to be the co-host, why don't we start off with our first basement tape band, and they are actually from back east. These guys call themselves Rum Nine. They're from Boston and met at nearby Emerson College four years ago. Jenny marks the video debut for director Mike Rothenberg, and the owners of a cardboard box factory. Not only did they provide their warehouse as a soundstage, but they spent 14 hours a day for an entire week strategically stacking paper rolls for the band set. Sounds like somebody got a major favor, Martha. <laughs> Our first basement tape tonight is Jenny from Room 9. Jenny don't do what she's told just what she wants to And Jenna don't know what she wants Cause that's what she needs to do She can't say Where she's going we are praying Cause what she's doing Jenna don't do what she's told Just what she wants to Jenna thinks of love Forever. Yet she'll never let her hand touch another. The arm is in the hand, it drifts all rendered, it sleeps through the night with dreams untempered, and a virgin's hand is soft white when you hold it. I hope there's a time when we can be Jenna don't do what she's told Just what she wants to Jenna don't know what she wants Just what she needs to do She don't say
untouched by modern times and her new meanings. She says the truth is lies above and something different. The love lies in her mind. She's no one simple. She says it simples the heart of someone and day. From Boston with Jenny, and since those guys opened up their own A track studio last year, I understand that they've been averaging a song a week. Pretty good average. Mm -hmm. And just in case you guys out there were wondering about Jenny, she's Taya Rhodes, a 17 year old actress, model, and high school cheerleader. Moving right along, our second basement tape has been described as the Zelig of incredibly short, low budget films. Yesterday was Pearl Harbor Day, and this next video, Love and War, from Bontan Roulet, features file footage from World War II, and they intercut it with black and white footage of the band, and they're wearing 40s-style clothes and uniforms that you'll see, and they shot the video with a Bolex camera and Tri-X film, which is the same kind of camera and film that they actually used in the 40s. Uh, another sidelight here. The name Bantan Roule was actually the name of an old rhythm and blues record that I found one time. I don't own it, so I couldn't tell you who actually sang the thing, but um, there was an old song with that title, I wonder whether or not they ever saw it or heard it. Anyway, to recreate that bombed out look of post-war Europe, the band shot some scenes in front of a redevelopment area on the north side of Pittsburgh, so don't adjust your TVs. This is not movie tone news. It's <laughs> Love and War from Bantan Roule. broadcast to bring you this important bulletin from the United Press. Flash, Washington. The White House announces Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor.
Gilbert? I bet you've had sugar since me and the kids. We just love some chewing gum. I told them you were going to bring them some chocolate when you came home from the war. And some silk stuff. That's Bonton Roulet with Love and War. The band is from Pittsburgh, and one night they were playing at a local club in Pittsburgh, and they were generous enough to let an out-of-town musician come up on stage and jam with them. And the crowd seemed to like him enough, and the guy's name was Bruce Springsteen. That's right. The video battle of the bands reaches across the border to Canada right after this. Tonight's edition of the MTV Basement Tapes is sponsored by Casio, by the Pepsi-Cola Company, by Tampax Tampons, and by Carefree Sugarless Gum from Nabisco. T-minus 30 and counting. Come on, Gene, light this candle. Understand, Challenger. What was that? Relax, Chuck. Just crack and open a Pepsi. You think you could talk me through that Pepsi? That's a can-do. Lifting slow and easy. Water beads keep daddling down the sides. I can see them. We have visual contact and pour. Three, two, one. <sighs> Pepsi, the choice of a new generation. Casio presents the Johnson Five. Rick Johnson on drums. Johnson on bass. On guitar. On piano. Rick Johnson on trumpet. In other words, Rick Johnson on a Casio MT100. With a graphic equalizer, built-in rhythms, and one-finger Casio chord, it's easy to play. And it's battery-powered so you can take it on the road. Casio keyboards for the Johnson Five, the Smith Five. I'm her big sister. I'm her little sister. I use Tampax tampons. Clean, comfortable protection you just can't get with a pad. Aren't tampons hard to use? Not really. Tampax has a new soft plastic applicator just for you. Petal soft. Petal soft's tapered. Pinky slim, so it's even easier to use. Bye bye, Pat. New Petal soft Tampax tampons. So easy to use, it'll get you off pads forever. Big sisters always make things easier. Tonight, the MTV Basement Tapes comes to you from just outside Hollywood in the basement of Frank Zappa. A little later on, Frank will reveal the name of tonight's winner, and they will join our four previous finalists in February's finals about eight weeks from now. That's right, Martha. And those four finalists are Heat and Serve from Chicago, who won in August with the inimitable Rats on a Budget, Part 2. Boot Camp from Baltimore, whose Let Her Go took the honors in September. October's winners, Extreme, a Boston band who copped the prize with Mother Don't Wanna Go to School Today, and from Dallas, Texas, Four Reasons Unknown, who won in November with Visual Signs. Now, no disrespect, but if they can do it, you can do it, and you should, Martha. Well, if you've got a band and a video, why not write to us and find out how to get onto the basement tapes? Drop us a line care of MTV Basement Tapes, 1775 Broadway, New York, New York, 10019. You could end up on the show like Terminal Sunglasses, our next basement tapes band. These guys come from Montreal, and one local newspaper called them garbage, punk, psychedelia, for now people. They've become quite popular on the alternative club circuit as that band gives out Michael Jackson stickers, asks trivia questions between songs, and occasionally invites an audience member on stage to ride Jerry, a rocking chair giraffe, who stars in their video and who they claim is their corporate lawyer, Martha. The video was shot on the shores of Montreal's Pointe St. Clair, and in the video we're gonna see cameos by not only Jerry, but also the singer-songwriter Leonard Cohen. You might be familiar with his song, Suzanne, either his own version or the version done by Simon and Garfunkel. Leonard shows up in the Terminal Sunglasses video. They're gonna take us for a ride on the Psycho Rail. Ooh. Dear Terminal Sunglasses, you don't know me, but I am one of your biggest fans. What will you guys live together? Who takes care of you guys? You guys are people. Then what planet are you from? When are you guys gonna to tour the U.S. of A?
cycle rail. All aboard on the cycle. <laughs> Oh, yes, the terminal sunglasses with Psycho. Whoop. Thanks, Frank. The terminal sunglasses with Psycho Rail. Believe it or not, lead guitarist Lawrence Joseph is a math professor at McGill University in Montreal, and he's going for his PhD in advanced mathematics. Martha? Well, we have a special guest tonight on the Basement Tapes who's a close personal friend of Frank, so why don't you introduce us? This is Sister Abdullah X, with a head like a potato, <laughs> lips like a duck, and a degree in advanced mathematics. <laughs> Personal friend of who is that strange senator from Washington State? Slade <laughs> Gorton. <laughs> well, we're going to continue on. We have next up a group who found each other through the want ads and who actually record through the mail. The release hailed from Seattle, Pullman, and the Tri-Cities, but would rather be known as a Washington band. Now, because these guys are all in different cities, they mail their parts to each other until they reach lead singer Tim Muller, who puts down the vocal tracks. They didn't mail it in for the video, though. Carl Krogstad, <laughs> who has directed short films with Deborah Winger and Farrah Fawcett, heard the band's song and decided It's Only Natural would be his first video. Martha? <laughs> Well, here it is with Sister Abdullah X, Frank Zappa, and myself, the release, It's Only Natural. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
released from Washington State with its only natural. And a few years back, these guys opened up for our first Basement Tapes champs, Rail. Now, we are here in Frank Zappa's basement. And I notice, amongst all the paraphernalia, these license plates. Where are you getting all of these from? People send these to me. Uh, I don't remember who sent them. Uh, they're all from different people, and we've gotten maybe 10 or 12 of them over the years. Here's the one from South Carolina. I can get it off here. This is a reference to one of the uh, songs in the Hot Rats album from a song called Willie the Pimp. And this is from Senator Hollings' home state, so I hope he realizes that at least one person down there sees things my way, so look out, Fritz. <laughs> So from the basement, we'll continue on. Coming up next, a basement tapes artist who dared to run down a Manhattan street in a monster costume during rush hour. showdown between the colas, there's only one deciding factor. Great taste. Pepsi, the choice of a new generation. <laughs> so you want to be a rock star? Well, then get your hands on a Casio CZ101 digital synthesizer with its multi-temporal MIDI capabilities and dual line of Casio PD sound generators. This isn't just a synthesizer. Oh, no. It's a rocker launcher. Casio Digital Synthesizers with Casio PD Sound. So easy to play, they're rocker launchers. Hey, I avoid sugar. That makes me feel good about me. Feeling good about yourself, feeling carefree. You've got new carefree sugar lip balm. Fresh sugar taste that sugar free. Feeling good about yourself. that Carefree has a new, fresher taste, why would anyone chew gum with all that sugar? I'm Frank Zappa, and this is the MTV Basement Tapes, coming to you from my basement, somewhere in the fringe of Los Angeles. Tonight, you, the loyal Basement Tapes viewers, will decide who wins the Casio equipment and a shot at the epic recording contract. But who decides who gets on the basement tapes in the first place? Our illustrious panel of music industry insiders, that's who? This month, the panel met at New York Century Cafe, and it included the triplets, our finals winners from last November. Warner Hodges from Jason and the Scorchers, Graham Maybe, and Robert Crenshaw, who play with Marshall Crenshaw, Kevin Mr. Overall's Roland of Dexy's Midnight Runners, and Baltimore on the charts with Tarzan Boy. Martha. And tonight on The Basement Tapes, our co-host is Frank Zappa, and I'm here with uh, the, new, the new record, Frank Zappa Meets the Mothers of Prevention. What's this warning? You have a, a warning, I see. Yeah, this is the third of our albums to have a warning label on the album. And uh, we started doing it sometime last year, but ours is a little bit different than what these ladies have in mind. What this label says is, this album contains material that a truly free society would neither fear nor suppress, and it guarantees you that you won't go to hell from any of the contents. And uh, I think that's about as far as anyone ought to go to put a warning on a record. And if you've been following what's happening with this record rating business, you know that the next step is the PMRC women are planning to stay in business for at least another year, and they're coming after videos. So I think that this matter is something that this audience ought to be concerned about. All right. Well, now we're going to go ahead with basement tape number five, Street Waves from New York City and led by Greg Demirjian, who directed the video. He starred in it. He wrote the music and the lyrics. He even designed the creature costume in the video. 
This guy was crazy enough to run around Manhattan in this outfit. He got a lot of looks and nearly caused a few car accidents and had a lot of trouble getting a cab, but who cares? <laughs> he got the shot he wanted, and that's all that matters, Martha. I think you're going to be able to see why he, A, couldn't get a cab, and B, really did almost cause some accidents. Here comes Beware Street Wave featuring the creature of New York. Kissing a grandma at the end. <laughs>
Street Wave doing Beware. I've seen lots of guys like that in New York. Martha. Do, 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 do. Martha Quinn is thinking to herself that she's dated lots of guys like that in New York, right? Martha. Uh, actually, there was a makeup job that took five hours of work by artist Ed French. Do, 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 and uh, a lot of rubber there. Now let's take a look at our sixth band and final band tonight, a group that was named one of the most outstanding up-and-coming Midwest talents at last September's Chicago Music Expo, Martha. Well, abstractions are from Indianapolis, Indiana, which is also where they shot the video, and there's sort of a gone-to-the-wind style mansion that you'll see, and it was temporary headquarters for the band while their fire-damaged house was being repaired. Of course, Martha's dated a lot of guys like that, but you'll be happy to know their house is finished and the mansion is back on the market, Martha. <laughs> so all you real estate agents check out abstractions with Wawa. Uh, how did you know that? Abstractions from Indianapolis with Wawa. They've been together for three years now with co-founders Joyce Martin and Jesualdo Bach, executive producing everything they've done, including a locally distributed LP called Check It Out. Martha? Well, you were telling me something before about Jesualdo and where that comes from. Yeah, Jesualdo is the name of a composer and so is Bach. So maybe it's a bogus name. Jesualdo was... Uh, an Italian who happened to be a prince and a murderer, and Bach was a pudgy guy with big hair that went like that. <laughs> At this point in time, it's time for the voting to begin, and all you do is call the phone number corresponding to your favorite band, and the one who gets the most votes wins the complete line of Casio instruments to outfit the whole band, including the Casio CZ-101 synthesizer and the CK-200 keyboard not to mention a chance for the grand prize, an Epic Records contract, and a new video. Yeah, and maybe even a trip to the Detox Center in Lake Mount, New York. Okay, with that <laughs> out of the way, here we are, the bands and the phone numbers. Jenny don't know what she wants, lots of needs to do. She don't say, wishes for when we are afraid. Super high. 
Highways. We're touring the U.S. of B. Keep in mind that the phone lines are only open till 11 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Mountain, and 8 p.m. here, where we are on the left coast. <laughs> I'm Martha Quinn, Frank Zapp, and I will be back in a little while with the early returns in tonight's boating, so get to the phones. Tonight's edition of the MTV Basement Tapes is sponsored by Casio, by the Pepsi-Cola Company, by Tampax Tampons, and by Carefree Sugarless Gum from Nabisco. Get the most out of your computer with software from Software Unlimited. They specialize in providing the new releases faster and lower price than anybody else. Plus, they're the only dealer in the area with a software rental program, and it's only $5 a week. From furniture and accessories to software for business, entertainment, or education, you'll find it all at Software Unlimited. We are authorized sales and warranty service for Franklin, Commodore, Legend, and Epson computer products and peripherals. Now at two locations to serve you better. Call 949-0400. the first returns in tonight's basement tapes voting and before that we saw a special request video from Malcolm McLaren doing Madam Butterfly now we were in Frank's basement and now we are in the Frank Zappa vaults tell us what all of these tapes are this is video up here that's from the 1974 television special which turned out to be the Dubrum special this is from the PMI shoot at the pier last August this is from MTV um, this is from Baby Snakes. Uh, these are tour tapes from 79 and 80. Behind there are masters from albums like Overnight Sensation and uh, Shake Your Booty. Now, uh, Frank mentioned Overnight Sensation, which I know, like so many of the early albums, like Freak Out and Lumpy Gravy, are not available anymore. You can't buy them in the stores. But you can get them in a box set that you've put together. So right. tell me a little bit about that. For instance, if you wanted to get a hold of a Freak Out album and went to a, a specialty store, it would cost you about $40. But we've r digitally remastered and repackaged all of the earliest in Verve fact, albums. this is how the package looks. Yeah. And these are some of the things that are in it. They're, all the albums are in their original covers for Freak Out. Credited as the first rock and yeah. roll double album. Absolutely Free, Lumpy Gravy, Ruben and the Jets. The infamous "We're Only in It for the Money" with its uh, <laughs> looks familiar. Beatles, I don't know, uh, a British band. Yeah, and uh, the mystery disc, which has material that has never been released before, mm -hmm. and and was recorded before the Mothers actually had a record contract, plus the 32-page book that has all the words to all of the songs, mm -hmm. plus old clippings and reviews, and um, the freak map. <laughs> now, when I knew that I was coming out here, so many people said to me, ask him, how can I get those records? So, Frank, how can people get this series? They can call 818-PUMPKIN and order it. Or, if Tower Records is smart, they'll buy some to stick in the store. Well, but, in fact, they indicated an interest in doing just that. Yeah, way. but they haven't placed an order. So, meanwhile, the only way to get it is by mail order. So. Or by utilizing the phone lines, which is 818-PUMPKIN. Now, speaking of the phone lines... That's right. Tonight... The phone lines and tonight's basement tapes opened a few minutes ago, so it may seem like there's time to call, but don't delay your calls. To refresh your memory, here's a look at the phone numbers for the bands. Martha. You don't know what she wants. 
There's a complete line of Casio instruments and a trip to the finals at stake here tonight, so choose carefully but quickly. There's less than 15 minutes to vote, so get to the phones, Martha. We were looking through all these tapes before and found the tapes of when John Lennon came out on stage with Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention in 1971. And we're going to do some John Lennon video in just a little bit. Right. Let's face it, it's something we've never done before. Everybody's got ideas on the subject. My friends, her friends, my dad, even the guy behind the counter. But it's really just between me and the girl I love. The best advice anyone's ever given us is go with a name you know. That's why tonight, I'm giving her a keepsake engagement ring. Hi. Hi. When you make the promise of a lifetime, trust the name you know, keepsake. To match the higher intelligence of the new Commodore 128, an Apple IIc would have to add two extra ports, two more voices, four instruments, a keypad, block graphics, and much more. Now, which do you think is the smarter Christmas present? The new Commodore 128, a higher intelligence and a lower price. Make a splash, let them know that you know the way to go. Go by canoe. Buy canoe, go buy canoe. Make a splash, let them know that you know the way to go. Go buy canoe, buy canoe, go buy canoe. Stonehenge. Thousands of men work 400 years to lift 50-ton stones into a precise pattern and then wait for the summer solstice to know what day it is. The 1986 MTV calendar. Just tack it on your wall. Brought to you by Harry and Abrams in bookstores everywhere. Because sooner or later, you'll want to know what day it is.
Well, just before tonight's Basement Tapes update, we saw borrowed time from John Lennon. Now, John Lennon and Yoko Ono came out on stage at the Fillmore East and played with the Mothers of Invention. How did that come about? Through a journalist who introduced uh, John to me the afternoon before that. He thought he was going to surprise me. They woke me up at uh, the One Fifth Avenue Hotel when it, when it was still a hotel, not condos. And uh, they came to the door, and I was sound asleep, and, and the guy goes, uh, Frank, I'd like you to meet John Lennon. Like I was going to go, oh, my God. You know, I said, okay, come on in. And uh, the first thing he said was, well, you're not as ugly as I thought you were. So anyway, I invited him to um, jam with us at Fillmore East, and here's the, the tape box of what would have been the master tape from that show. Now, why do I have a vault? Well. These tapes used to be stored in a rental facility, a commercial facility where other people store tapes. And while my tapes were stored there, somebody took the real John Lennon tape out of this box and replaced it with some unknown group. I don't know who this is that is living in this box, but somebody stole the original John Lennon Mothers of Invention tapes out of this box. And that's why we have a vault. Baby, Please Don't Go is the song they did? I know they did that. several. They did Scumbag, Baby, Please Don't Go, and um, some other stuff. They were on stage with us for about 20 minutes or 25 minutes. All right, we are here on the Basement Tapes with Frank Zappa in the vault. Frank? So, Basement Tapes viewer, how do you think the voting's going? What do you think? Do you agree? Disagree? Either way, you should be heard. So grab that phone and get your vote in now. Here's one last look at the numbers. <laughs> she really don't know what she wants. That she needs to do. She don't say wishes for when we are free. Knows what she's doing. Janet don't do what she don't. She's what she wants to do. Super Highways, we're touring the U.S. of A. There's only about five minutes left to vote, so make that call, Nina. <laughs> Martha. <laughs> I'm her big sister. I'm her little sister. I use Tampax tampons. Clean, comfortable protection you just can't get with a pad. Aren't tampons hard to use? Not really. Tampax has a new soft plastic applicator just for you. Petal soft. Petal soft's tapered. Pinky slim, so it's even easier to use. Bye bye, pads. New Petal Soft Tampax tampons. So easy to use, it'll get you off pads forever. Big sisters always make things easier. I don't want to feel bad about sugar. I want to feel good about me. Feeling good about yourself. Feeling carefree. You've got new carefree sugar. Let's go. Carefree has a new, fresher taste. Why would anyone chew gum with all that sugar?
softness in your style. Alberto Mousse, European styling firm. Designed to hold your hair in any style with softness. Ooh, Alberto Mousse. Feel that softness in your style. Ooh, Alberto. What a woman. Every day her body changes. FDS woman. But she's confident and fresh with FDS. FDS woman, so very feminine. FDS for safe feminine deodorant protection every day. Watching the MTV basement tapes, and we are coming to you tonight from Frank Zappa's vault somewhere near the heart of Los Angeles. The voting lines are closed, and we're about to announce a winner in tonight's fierce competition. Get ready to explode <laughs> with joy or collapse in sorrow. Right after video from Van Halen. Martha. <laughs> From the vaults of Frank Zappa in California, Sunday night on the basement tapes, we have reached the moment that we have all been waiting for. Frank Zappa is about to announce the winner of tonight's basement tapes competition. Frank? I've been waiting all my whole life for this. The winner of December's basement tapes is Street Wave yeah. from New York City. Street Wave out of New York City, and they won with the video called Beware. So we're going to take a look at the winning video right here from New York, Street Wave. Yeah. Rubber Goods does it again. <laughs>
And congratulations once again to tonight's Basement Tapes winner, for whom Christmas came a little bit early this year. Let's take a look at the final results. Remember, if you want to get on the MTV Basement Tapes, the first step is to write to us in care of MTV Basement Tapes, 1775 Broadway, New York, New York, 10019. Our next Basement Tapes show will air on January 12, 1986, and that will be the last one before the big one, the finals on February 9th. I want to thank Frank Zappa for sharing your basement, your vault, your pizza, California pizza, with all of us. And don't forget, if you want to get the boxed record series, it's... 818 Pumpkin <laughs> for Martha and myself, and I'm Frank Zappa. Good night from Hollywood. Martha. <laughs>